Hello again. In my previous video, I showed you how to remove the flywheel on this 1997 Honda XR200. Um, this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the oil pump, the oil filter, and the clutch assembly. <clears throat> it's all pretty easy from here. Uh, but you will need a few tools, <clears throat> like, the, <clears throat> like this lock nut. Forgive me, I'm sick, and uh, this is hard to make a video, but I'm sure you guys would, don't mind me coughing. But anyway, this is a lock nut wrench. You will be needing the 24 millimeter side. <clears throat> the lock nut, you can see that's the, uh, this is an oil filter that I pull off another engine as you can see down in there there's a lock nut <laughs> and uh, there's also a lock nut holding on the clutch basket the same size <clears throat> and uh, you'll need an impact screwdriver for these Phillips head screws here these three and those two down there holding on the oil pump now, they're actually not Phillips head screws. They are Japanese, I think it's Japanese industrial standard screws. So There's a little bit of a different type of screw than uh, the Phillips head, which I don't have any. I'm just using Phillips head. These are Phillips head, which the, I believe the Japanese industrial standards are a little bit thicker. But Phillips head will work on this. So, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to set you down on my stand and I can get to this. So, first we'll work on the oil filter cover and make sure. It's spinning the right way because I've already accidentally put this on to put on mode and it broke things but you just place it in there nice and snug and you give it a few taps I don't know if you saw that <clears throat> but it also helps if you uh, get a gear uh, gear stop or you could use the piston. Now you might need to heat these with a torch, which I probably will do for <clears throat> the oil pump screws. Sometimes you could just use a regular screwdriver to get these off, but you might strip them. Oh, good catch. Put this with that engine's parts. Oh, she had a good bit of oil on her. Surprisingly, pretty clean compared to the other one. Which this engine had a lot of grinding going on in the cylinder head. All right, <clears throat> and in here, you can see <clears throat> that lock nut holds it on. Now, you will need something to keep this from from spinning, which I, I know not, a lot of you might not like this, but I just used the old piston. Let's place you down. Don't mind the mess in my garage. But so this 
clock nut wrench has a hole in it for <clears throat> three quarter inch drive. And you just apply lots of pressure. You might keep the stamp the engine up. Okay. Whoa, man. This thing's pretty oily. Should honestly have gloves on, but who uses those things? All right. Now, <clears throat> I've already done it, but I removed these screws for the oil pump. So now you can remove them, the cover. You don't need to do this. You can put it, pull it out all in <clears throat> one assembly. Maybe I should have left it together. All right. Get rid of this excess oil. Now, I did not heat these screws yet. These two screws are the ones I'm going to be taking out. I did not heat them. I'm not guaranteeing you that they will come out right away. But let's see what happens. Now you're going to need a bigger, you're going to need the wide Phillips for this. I think it's a number three Phillips. And let's give her a go. Now these screws. Let me uh, pause the video. I'm going to heat the screws with the torch. All right, I'm back with the torch. I am pretty much just heating at an angle right towards the head. This is what I did on the last engine, and it worked pretty well. Because some people say there's red Loctite on these. There wasn't, I don't think there was, yeah, see these, this is from the last engine, there's no Loctite on those, so pretty much just heating it to loosen things up, but I'm going to pause it again, heat this for a few minutes, each one, alright, let's try this again. I just bought this impact screwdriver, so I'm kind of not fond of it because it switches sometimes on its own.
going the right way. All right, I got this one. <clears throat> light moving around. Okay. All right, now I got that one. Now, this is all pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to pause the video while I remove all this. But